Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for another video. If you are new here, my name is T.I. and this is Irie Living. Today we're going to be working in my front area. You're not going to actually have any videos of me speaking in the front. It can get pretty busy with the cars passing by. And plus this particular day, it was really nice and everyone wanted to come out and kind of do some work on their house. So even if I tried, you wouldn't have heard me um, very well. So when we first moved here, there were some shrubs and one or two maybe rose uh, bushes, if I'm remembering correctly, but they weren't looking um, too cohesive. And at the time that we wanted to garden, it was kind of during the pandemic, coincidentally. Um, so we needed to use this space for a garden space. Um, the first time that I planted in here, I actually planted some radishes. Um, I loved how fast they grew, but I quickly realized that I actually do not like radish. And the following year, I ended up planting uh, tomatoes, peppers, um, a lot of sunflowers, marigolds, zinnias, and those kind of looked a lot better in that area than just the really short radishes. Because you may step on a pepper plant. There's so many pepper plants. Oh, boy. Oh, that's okay, baby. I can't feel now. This year, my goal was to plant this area up with tomatoes still. It will be in the back row, and I would normally have that out um, already at this point but this year <laughs> like all the years that we've had this house we are working on something <laughs> so that brick wall uh, directly in front of me my husband's actually replacing some of those bricks I did want to make sure that he had a clear um, a well I only gave him a foot walkway to go ahead and do that if i did put the tomatoes there he would have most definitely crushed them so this area i'm having a lot of new flowers i'm still gonna have my zinnias i have about three different varieties of zinnias planted here but i also added um, bachelor's button and i think some daisies and then within those i added some cabbage the really large there's some dutch in um, the variety name but it creates these huge heads and i thought that would be beautiful as like the front border of that bed along with like the marigolds in between that so i planted those there um you could see i don't know if you could see the leaves but right where i put my foot just now in that row it's all those cabbage and then right in the middle, I think I had some African daisies or uh, the bachelor button. But I wanted to create um, kind of a cottage style mixed with like a garden style. I don't know what's the name for um, combining those two. But I wanted to have food. I wanted to have flowers. But I wanted to be filled, like just completely filled in that like cottage style of gardening um, and I want everything to work well together but I am giving myself grace because this is the first year that I'm planting a lot of these things I know that most seed companies do um, put how large the plants will be at full maturity but I feel as though nothing really compares to seeing it grow in front of your own eyes I feel like that's when you're able to fully judge where that plant would actually work best in comparison to everything else. So I am hoping that everything turns out um, how I pictured, but I think it will be beautiful either way and um, it will teach me what I need to do or correct for next year. So right now I'm just planting up all the things that I lay down. I like to lay everything down before I even start planting just to get the spacing how I wanted to. And I I think I told you before that we moved that gray border 
and I extended it back a little bit um, to kind of line up with the start of my steps and in front of that I ended up planting some watermelons so we will have the vines going down towards the azalea bushes and I don't know I just want to fill this space it's a lot of space um, and there's a lot that can be done with it so I like to kind of use this as my experimental space each year it is about 12 feet long 12 to 13 feet long and um, with the extension it made it about five feet uh, deep so that is a good amount of space you could fit a lot of food in there so that is what I intended to do In the corner over here, I decided to add some Brussels sprouts. I didn't really have anywhere to place it, but I thought, oh, it'll actually work perfectly over here. Um, I hope I am spacing it far enough. This is actually my second try at growing Brussels sprouts. I did try it in the back, but it was decimated by the cabbage worms. Um, so I'm hoping that this year, if I stay on top of things, um, they will be just fine. Um, to the left of the screen, you may see, um, I don't know if you could recognize it, but I did plant two hibiscus over there as well. And I'm pretty sure that that's not enough room for the hibiscus, but I will just kind of keep on top of maybe pruning it or something. But I also did not have a place for it as well, um, so I just packed it right in there with the Brussels sprouts. So after I was finished doing all my planting, I went back in and added some mulch. This is a vital step in helping to retain that moisture in your soil. I oftentimes forget it, but I did not for this one, especially being at the south side of my home. It gets beat down with the sun, um, but I want to go over the different uh, plants that I did plant. Um, so you see the artichoke in the far back, that's the globe artichoke, and this is the premium late flat cabbage. I don't know where I got Dutch cabbage, but it's not that. <laughs> but um, then in the back we have the Taki Taki, um, maybe that's wrong too, but look for Taki in um, Zinnia variety. And this one is the bling bling 
Zinnia. And I know they are clumped up right now, but I did go back in and separate them a little bit more. And here we have the Brussels sprouts. Um, it's just the basic variety that you will find anywhere. I also had this banana tree from Tai Tai, but it did not make it. Um, so I'm reaching out to see if they could do something about that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!